Hey everyone, in this video we are going to be exploring iMovie to create a video slideshow of photos. iMovie is a free Apple exclusive editing software. It's not as advanced as Premiere Pro, but it does require a little bit of a learning curve. So let's get started. Okay, so we want to begin by clicking on this plus sign here, uh, which creates a new movie project. So I'm just going to click here. Uh, toggle the movie section. There's a trailer section and all that is is uh, pre-made templates already set for you. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to start from scratch and just go with the movie. And here I'm going to start with a new movie library, so meaning that I'm going to bring in new clips and footage rather than use ones that I've already imported a while ago into my library. So I'm just going to import by clicking this down arrow where it says import media. It's going to open up kind of like its own uh, file manager, and I'm going to go find where my own files are. All right, and here I have some photos. We're going to pretend that this is some of my family photos here um, of us traveling around the world. And nothing can happen until you begin to drag and drop some of your assets, I guess. Um, in this case, it's just photos. So I am going to start with this photo right here, the second one. I'm gonna drag it and drop it into my timeline, just like that. You see how it's kind of like magnetic? It'll just clip in. So here I have one, one photo in my timeline. Um, it defaults to four seconds here, and you can change that setting in preferences, photo duration. So you can default it to five seconds, for example, and you can default kind of the automatic transition or placement that it has. I usually keep it as default, which is uh, Ken Burns, um, which is a simple transition where it just basically kind of zooms in. It adds a little bit more to the photo. You can just crop to fill to make sure it fits in there. I'm just going to do that. And there's really no like save button or anything. It's just automatic. I'm going to go and do X. So now if I bring in this photo, it's defaulted to five seconds. It doesn't do it to the ones already on there, but it does it uh, thereafter. So now that I have two photos uh, on in my timeline, I want to first show you that here you can adjust the magnification of your timeline as well, which may be helpful if you want to kind of zoom in and see exact frame by frame changes that you have. So. This is the video so far. You see that Ken Burns kind of just zooms out. It adds to it. This one is zooming in. I guess it just it does it just does what best fits the photo or uh, no no specific order. So now that we have at least two photos in our timeline, we can begin by playing around with them. Um, one of them adding some transitions. So here, this segment here in the middle indicates where we can put some transitions. Right now there isn't anything. All it's doing is playing from one photo to another. Just a quick cut, nothing, nothing special. So what we're gonna do is we can go to transitions and there's a lot to play with. So I like a simple cross dissolve, just like that. So what I'm gonna do is gonna click on it, hold and drag it into this centerpiece here. You see how it turns a blue kind of border, square border? That indicates that's its place to be held. And just like that. Now you notice this is 3.5 seconds and this is 4.5 seconds. That's normal because it's taking almost, it's taking a minute in total if you look here. It's a whole second, I mean, not a minute. It takes a whole second, so it takes 0.5 seconds from this first clip and then 0.5 seconds from the second clip, and that's where the dissolve has happened, that one second. So if we play it back, see how they overlap each other. The other thing I want to go over real quick as well is you can trim your clips. Um, I know we defaulted them to five seconds, and that's how I like it to be. But in case you want it to be less than, and you want to manually change it, what you can do is just hold on the end, and drag it left to shorten it, right to extend it. And because it's a photo, it can be extended. Obviously, if it's a video and there's nothing past five seconds, you cannot extend that unless uh, you just slow it down. 
Now, here, up top to the right, you can play around uh, with the view settings. This changes the brightness of your photos, contrast, all of that. These are uh, kind of vibrance and saturation, kind of like that. You don't really have to mess with this um, that much, but they're there just in case. This is the Ken Burns that we already did. We're just going to keep it as is. Here you can white balance your photos, videos, anything like that. Um, you're going to have to kind of just select the white parts to white balance it to it. As you can see, it changed just very slightly. Um, but I don't need to really add anything. It's just there in case you need it. Those are a little bit more of the advanced settings. So these are like the filters that you would find maybe on your phone. You can do black and white, sepia, you know, multiple, made it, make it look like a, like a drawing, a painting. I don't, I don't like personally doing those, but you guys have those options there um, for, for your uh, slideshow. And then here is just information about your clip, you know, how long it is, stuff like that. You can even change it. You want to change it back to five seconds. There, it undid my trim, basically. And added the half a second that was missing from the cross dissolve. So that's basically all the settings that are available within each clip, footage, anything that you guys uh, want to use. Um, if you go back to my media, you'll find your, your clips again. I'm going to start adding the rest of them here. Like that. I'm going to move to the right and add the last photo here. Now I have a few photos, enough to make it into a slideshow. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my transitions. I'm going to drag cross dissolve into here again. And you know what? I'm going to change it up a bit. I think I'm going to do fade to white for this one. And for this last one, I'm going to do cross blur. You can see it just blurs it. Kind of like that kind of style, simple. And there's that. Now, this is a slideshow, it is a video, so we can always add music. So as you can see, our clips have kind of two layers to them. There's this top footage layer, which has um, an image on it, I guess. And the bottom layer, which is just blue. Now, normally, if we have a video, this blue layer would show volume meters, waves going up and down to indicate how loud audio is in there. Since these are just photos, there aren't any audio. But in case in the future you want to put footage videos in here, what you can do if your clip has any uh, audio is you can right click and you would do detach audio. I don't have that option because these are just photos. There isn't any audio attached to it. But when you do detach audio, the blue separates from the image and it ends up being its own layer. You can also go into the audio panel and they have some default preset kind of sound effects here. So I'm going to do like ambient effect too. Now bring it down here. You see how it goes to the lower layer? If I play it, And there you go. Now, something else I want to show you before we begin exporting is um, what if you don't want to trim your, your clip, but you want to just split it in the middle. So what you can do is you move the playhead to wherever you want to make the split. Let's say I want to make it in the middle of this one, like right here. I stay on it. I right click or hold both fingers down for Mac of course, and I do split clip. There's also shortcuts to everything, and when you guys get used to it, make sure to identify what the shortcut is. So in this case, it's Command B to split it. But I'm just gonna go over manually and do split clip, and it splits it in two. So now I can move this here if I want to. I can move it on top, I can move it in the middle, so it's between two. In this case, I'm, I really don't wanna do that. I'm just gonna keep it where it is. Um, but just to show you that you guys have that option to split a clip as well. Now, one last thing is we need to export this. So let's pretend I'm done with this, right? 
Um, this is all that we wanted to do. And I'm happy with it. So let's export it. What I'm going to do, do you see this right upper right button that's like a share button that you would see on a phone or anything else? And it says share. If you hover over it, that would help. Uh, you click it and you have these options here. What we're going to do is we're going to export file. This is the normal finalization of a video. We're just going to export file and a window should pop up. We can change the name. Uh, family trip slideshow. All right. Look at the look at the description here if you want to change it as well. Um, but look at the settings. So the format is what's important. We want video and audio, not just audio. Resolution, we're going to keep it as 1080p. That's as high as we can really do it with these photos. And I'm going to keep it at high quality. You know, uh, we don't really need to go any higher or it's not a big, big enough file to need to compress it and go lower either. And that's it. Here it shows you how long your video is. I recommend looking at that just to make sure that this matches your timeline time end time which is 24 seconds 24 seconds you want to make sure it's getting the entire sequence basically and here it tells you how big your file is it's very small not even a gig so then i'm going to do next and i'm going to figure out where i want to save it I'm just going to save it to my desktop save now this part you guys need to be careful with i've stumbled upon it a lot of times and what happens is, obviously, this shows really fast. This wheel is basically the, the progress wheel. It shows you when it's almost done exporting. But if you have a larger file, like let's say maybe it's 20 minutes and it's like 5 gigs or 6 gigs long, big, this might take forever to show up and forever to even show white on it that you may think that it's all exported because nothing really shows you that it's processing. Um, until this comes up at the end, you know, so be patient. It is processing. You need to wait until you see that we'll go, especially if you have a small, uh, slower computer. Um, so ju that's just a tip that I recommend, because if you start moving around, uh, it, you, the computer is going to freeze. The program is going to freeze and you may have to start all over with the export process. And that's it. That's how you use iMovie um, to create a photo slideshow video. These are just the basics. I tried not to go m too in depth uh, with what iMovie offers. It doesn't offer much more than this, but there are a little bit more advanced ways that you can go around it. But in this case, since it's just some simple photos, um, this is basically the gist of it.